Hey everybody, in this video I have a carton of Season 1 Hatchimal Collectibles which have one dozen Hatchimal eggs to open to, and to review for you guys. Um, two of the eggs on the ends you can see are see-through so you can see what is inside and then on the other side there are two flamingos included in this set. So I'm going to get started opening these up and at the end I'll go over some different points and give my overall rating and review for it. So go ahead and open up the case. Latch here opens up to reveal these two are not actually in eggs. One is a little tiger and the other one is that flamingoose. Okay, first one, go ahead and open up. The hearts do change color when you rub them, but um, it's pretty easy to open them up. You just kind of press them and then take out the little Hatchimal inside. Very cute purple and green raccoon. All right, next one. Oh, we have this cute little guy. I love the wings with the, the sparkles in them. I think that's really cute. Next, a little pony. Very adorable. I like the different wing placement on this one is interesting. Next egg. We have a little mouse. A little orange bunny with pink and purple accents. Oh, we have a little pig. Oh, this one's really cute. A little yellow pig with pink wings. This one is the first one I have pink wings. I think it means it's a rare when it has a different color wings. Next egg. Ooh, this is a cool one. I can get it out. Here we go. Oh, it's a, like aquatic one. This one is different sort of plastic, has pink wings again, so it's one of the rare, and it's pol a polar paradise themed one. I like, that's cool. It's like a little seal. Adorable. Next one. Ooh, we have a zebra. Aw, I love this zebra. It's so cute. The color combinations are bright. See, I think it's a little giraffe. Yep, it's a little giraffe with purple wings, which means it's an ultra rare with purple wings. Super cute. I love drafts, so it's one of my favorite ones. And the last Hatchimal egg for this video is... Oh, we got... I think it's a hippo. Yep, 
Yeah. Oh, it's a cute little hippo. That looks so cute. Super adorable blue hippo. Okay, so now going over some review points. First, I want to talk about like character representation, how well they designed the little cute animals. I think they did a really good job. Each one has a really different look, and um, you can tell, I would say, pretty easily what the animal is supposed to be, even though they're in these really wild and bright fantasy colors, even if... <laughs> even they though they added um, wings to each animal that normally wouldn't have wings. It ties all the animals together as hatchmills um, and is a cute little connecting factor. Um, and it's I just think they're really cute. Next uh, point of review I'm going to talk about is variety of the figures you can get. As you can see, I didn't get any duplicates, which is awesome. There are a lot of different ones to collect. I think the chances of getting duplicates are pretty low, but I'm sure if you get enough of these, if you're trying to collect them all, you will end up getting duplicates. But as you can see in this set here, the colors, the um, the variety of animals is large. There's a lot of different colors um, and animal families like you got tigers, horses, aquatic animals, birds, lots of different variety. And my last review point, um, so the big draw to surprise toys, mystery toys, blind toys like this is, of course, the fun of opening up the egg. But after that part is over, are you going to be interested in the actual toy and playing with it? So I, th in this part, I'm going to say pass or fail on the actual toy after the surprise is over and I would say a pass on these I think they hold up I think you'd be interested in keeping these and playing with them and not just on the aspect of opening them and another thing that I really like about this particular set is that the carton is a perfect holder for them they stay in their little egg containers. You can shake it around as much as you want, but they're going to stay in their little homes. And I think you could probably fit maybe two in each place because they there looks like there's enough room in each egg spot for two. So not only is this a really cute way to get your eggs. It's a perfect way to store your Hatchimals after the egg is gone. And it's really, really tight and secure. So you don't have to worry about this thing falling open and spilling all your Hatchimals everywhere accidentally. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this review. I guess my rating from 1 to 10, 10 being the best out of the best. My personal opinion, I would give these uh, a 10 out of 10. I think they're well designed. They're cute little characters. Um, the wings are just that perfect amount of glitter. The package that they come in is a great storage and a cute display. And I think they're really cute. So thank you for watching this review. Bye.